top 10 most romantic candles. It's just so much freaking smoke. Top 10 50 Shades of Grey candles. This is a Yankee candle. I'm starting to sweat, it's kinda hot. Who am I fucking kidding? We're not gonna do that. Come on. What do I know about candles? Top five clubbing fragrances under $50. Let's go. Now that's better. In this video, we're gonna be going over the top five best fragrances for when you're gonna go to the club. So when you're clubbing, you're gonna want a fragrance that's loud and is just gonna punch you in the face because clubs usually smell pretty bad or there'll be people smoking inside or people sweating and you're just gonna want something that's gonna be loud and it's just gonna scream and just, you know, really punch you in the face. The fragrance doesn't necessarily have to last a long time as much as it needs to project if you're gonna wanna get attention from anybody at the club or if you just wanna not stink. I've chosen five fragrances from my collection that are under 50 bucks. That way I'm not breaking your bank. And again, most of the people who go to clubs are college students, at least. Assuming that you can get into the club legally or illegally, doesn't matter. If you're in college, you've probably been to the club before and I wanna help the college students out because we're all cheap and broke. And you can still ball out on a budget, so let's go. So we're gonna start out this list in the number five spot with Giorgio Armani, Armani Code. Now, I'm not really a big fan of this fragrance. For me, it's just a little bit too sweet, but this thing projects like a beast. When I'm talking about your sillage, when you're walking around and you have this scent trail going behind you, that's what you're really gonna get with this. This thing is super, super sweet. Mainly comes from the notes of nutmeg, uh, lavender, tonka, and cardamom. And I kind of get like a Coca-Cola fizzy soda vibe from this. This thing is just really, really sweet and it projects a ton, which is what you want for the club. It's not bad definitely fits the clubbing scene. In the number four spot, we have Jean-Paul Gaultier, not Le Mal, Ultra Male. So Le Mal is really good. It has this sort of barbershop thing going on. It's super lavender heavy and it's not bad, but overall it's a little bit dated. So I would go with Ultra Male. I don't have a bottle of it, but this thing is sweet. It's really fruity. It reminds me a lot of the Zara fragrance. So right off the opening with this, you're gonna get this sort of fruity blast is the best way I can describe it. Top notes are pear, bergamot, mint, and I think lemon. So it's very fruity, it's very youthful. Uh, I don't think if you're older that you should wear this. Imagine that I'm holding it just. Whoa! In the number three spot, we have CH Men Privé. Man, this stuff is good, and it does have a sort of boozy note going on with it. This should not be $40. This is a way high quality fragrance. It's, it's freaking, it's good, okay? You get a really sweet tonka bean note going on, and you get this like boozy whiskey accord off the top. This is a beast. This is, this is sick. It smells really good too. The only thing that I will say about this is that it doesn't have great longevity, but when you're at the club, it's not that important. You don't want to sweat off the fragrance, but as long as you're not there like a super long time, then like you should be good. In our number two spot, we have Spice Bomb, but not this one, Spice Bomb Extreme. So what I really like about this one it's just fucking everything about it. You get cinnamon, you get vanilla, you get just all sorts of spices. It's shaped like a grenade, like, tell me this isn't fucking cute. Oh my gosh. I'd say the main difference between these two, because both of these are great, is that this one, you know, when it dries down, it sort of reminds me more of like a burning fireplace where like smoke gets in your hair and then you stink the next day. And then this just reminds me of a chocolate chip cookie. Why? I couldn't tell you. This reminds me of a cookie. This reminds me of a sexy fireplace. So do you want to be like a cute little milk and cookie or do you want to be a sexy fireplace? I think you want to be a sexy fireplace. 
Not to mention, this shit lasts way longer than that. Like, this thing, oh my god, in terms of projection, this is freaking great for winter, but it's also great for the club, and it's cheap. That's Spice Bomb. Spice Bomb Extreme by Victor and Rolf. All right, guys, number one spot. What is it gonna be? You may have been able to guess it. It's Versace Eros. Versace Eros, oh man. This is, this is dope. This is really good. So right off the opening with this, you get this sort of green apple-y, sweet, minty thing going on. I don't really get a whole lot of woody notes with this, and it's not the most masculine fragrance because of how sweet it is, just like the Ultra Male. But, I mean, Eros is the Greek god of love, or more precisely, passionate and physical desire. Guys, this thing is so sexy. That was kind of a shit spray. That's better. It's pretty linear, so it's just gonna stay the same for pretty much the entire time you're at the club, but I mean, this stuff is just good. It's good stuff. So, number one spot, Versace Hero. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'm Danny, and this is That Makes Sense, and this has been top five clubbing fragrances for men for under $50. So, I hope that if I see any of you at the club, you won't stink. I hope that you've heeded my advice and you've gotten like one of these, at least, please, stink, please, oh god, it's me all, just to yourself. Leave a comment down below for what your go-to clubbing fragrance is. Also, leave a comment saying what your scent of the day was, and I'll be glad to see you guys in the next video. Peace.